hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I'm the station manager here at WTJR Channel 16. If you're on cable in Quincy, and if you're in cable and surrounding areas, well, uh, you can call your uh, city hall. They can tell you the station number or call here at the station. We'll be glad to tell you what the channel is in your town. But we also are on DISH, channel 32, and also over the air, and we have what? Four channels. We have 16.1, which is the national local programming. You can watch that over the air, through a cable, or through the dish. Uh, 16.2, which is CTN Lifestyle, and that can be watched um, over the air. 16.3, which is Christ Video Channel, that can be watched over the air. And if you watch it on the web streaming, yes, on WTGR's website, you can web stream all four of the channels, okay? But on the web stream, 16.3 is CTNI, which is Christian Spanish programming. And then we have 16.4, which is CTN HD from Clearwater, Florida. You can watch that over the air, also web stream. We're excited that we get to broadcast the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. Amen. Right here from Quincy, Illinois. And I'm excited about that because we can reach many, many people. And for some of you that have been watching on our Facebook page, and maybe you'd want to go on WTJR's Facebook page and friend us, we are putting live our Friday program, Pray 16. And in the future, we don't know, you might be able to watch a few more of our programs there, local. But we just thank God for His hand upon this ministry. I thank all of you out there that pray for us every day. I thank you for those that financially support WTJR. Thank you for all of our volunteers and all of those who take time, pastors and other people in ministry that take time to come here to the station and tape programs that we can air right here at WTJR. So we are blessed. Amen and amen. Well, let's get into our slideshow today. And of course, this is pictures from taping and studio guests last week. And we start out with our Praise 16 program last Friday. We were having prayer before the program started. And our prayer guests were Jeff and April Nye Davis with Captivated Praise. They were in the area and they were uh, on the program praying for your prayer requests. We say thank you to them. And this is George, our volunteer camera operator. And uh, he was having a lot of fun there, it looks like. But it is a joy to serve the Lord here at WTJR. Amen. Get to meet a lot of wonderful people. And here we are in the production room. And you see all the different monitors and screens that we can watch. There's some more. And then another uh, picture from in the studio. And you see we got two camera operators there. Jim was on camera number three, which kind of moves in the studio and then goes back out into the lobby where our phone operators are. And then we taped uh, Outreach Connection last week with uh, host Gary Slockavere. The first program was with uh, Major Andrew Miller with the Salvation Army talking about the upcoming uh, bucket Blitz for the Christmas season here in Quincy and Hannibal. Be sure and watch that program. And then we also taped a program with Pastor Joe and Sherry Le Letzi. And uh, I hope I pronounced that last name. It's L-E-I-T-Z-K-E. -E. And they're from Versailles, Missouri. He's a pastor there, but they uh, go around and pray with people out on the streets, go to ho hospitals, just several places they go. And they were sharing some of the healing testimonies, too, of God working in people's lives. And this is uh, Dixie. Uh, cook and she stopped by from the Rock Church and brought some shoe boxes and I was so excited about this because the children gathered the items and decorated and wrapped the shoe boxes and we just say thank you so much to Rock Church and the children there for being part of our shoe box ministry this year. Amen. And this is our uh, Bible teacher uh, John Furness, and he is the host of The Simple Truth right here on WTJR. And I pray many of you watch that program. It airs on Monday evening, and I believe the time is 7.30. 
and he's on at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Very good Bible teaching. Amen and amen. I wanted to say something about the camera, camera number three. Last week uh, during Pray 16, uh, the red light on top that lets you know that that's the camera that's on, that's recording at that time, so you'll know which camera to watch, was burnt out, we thought. And so we um, took it apart to see if we could fix it and found out we had more problems. So we've had to send that camera in to see if it can be repaired or not. So just be praying for us. God does provide our every need here. We know that. But just that for guidance and provision as we uh, deal with this camera. Okay? I appreciate that. Amen. Okay. Upcoming events here at WTJR. Of course, the soul winning training. And right now, if you would like us to come to your church or maybe your uh, Bible study group or Sunday school class and train you to go out on the streets, give us a call. The number's right there on the screen. If you want a personal appointment, you can come here to the studio. We can train you. Again, just call the station. We would love to pray with you and train you. And of course, we use the script, the soul winning script from the Great Awakening. And then we will go out on the street with you. And uh, anyway, it's exciting to tell people about Jesus. There's no, to me, nothing greater that you can do than to tell someone about Jesus. And then when you get to see them receive Christ into their life, what a blessing. So if you're interested in soul winning training, just give us a call here, the station, and we'll set up a time with you. Join us for prayer each Monday at 1 p.m. right here at the WTGR studio. 222 North 6th Street and we pray from 1 to 2 p.m. and we would love to have you come and join us. We know that we need to keep praying for America, praying for WTJR, Christian Television Network, praying for the church, praying for our families, praying for the lost. There's just an endless list of things to pray for and I believe it's so important that we spend time in prayer with God. Amen. We are having an all-night prayer right here at the WTGR studio, Friday, November the 18th, starting at 6 p.m., and we will pray until 6 a.m. on Saturday morning. If you want more information, call the studio. We'd love to have you come. You say, well, I don't know if I can make it all night long. That's okay. You come however long you can come and stay. You might say, but I don't pray out loud. That's fine. Just come and sit and be in the presence of God with all of us together. Amen. Um, so, like I said, please consider joining us for the all-night prayer on Friday, November 18th. You need prayer anytime you just call the studio here. And if you get the answering machine, leave your name and your phone number. We will get caught right back to you as soon as we can and pray with you. Also, you can send your uh, prayer request or email them, I should say, to pray16 at wtgr.org. This is only for prayer requests and we will get those prayed for, and we will put it on the Pray 16 program and pray for them. Amen. Pray 16, which is on Fridays, 11 a.m. to 12 noon. It is live. And then we repeat the program on Monday evenings from 9 to 10 p.m. Now, the Monday evening is a repeat, but we do have operators here to answer the phone. So please call in. There's no need that's too small or too big for God. And we can take it before the throne room of God in faith and believe with you and expect God to do a miracle in your life. So be sure and watch that. You can also watch this on Facebook live. Praise 16 is now live on Facebook. Mexico 2016 Shoebox Ministry. And this is in memory of Roger Ham and Wild Olive Branch Ministries. And you need to drop your shoeboxes off here at the studio at 222 North 6th Street by Wednesday, November the 30th. Now here's a list of suggested items to put in your shoebox. We do have lists here at the studio. It's not too late. You can still get a shoebox put together. You can stop by and get a list, or if you call us, we can put one in the mail. And I'll tell you, you will bless a child in Mexico, and you have no idea what it will mean to that child 
Amen. Be sure if you mark if it's for a boy or a girl on the outside of your box and the age. And again, the drop-off date is Wednesday, November the 30th. Coming up also is a Celebrate Jesus. That is a dinner concert at the Holiday Inn, 4821 Oak Street here in Quincy on Monday, December the 5th. And the meal is at 6 p.m., the concert at 7 p.m., the doors will open at 5 p.m., okay? Tickets are $25 donation per person. You can pick them up right here at the studio or give us a call and we can tell you how we can put them in the mail for you. There are very few seats. We may have about 50 tickets left, okay? We have a limited amount of people we can put in the room and the tickets go quickly. So I would suggest if you're thinking of coming, you need to do that this week, at least before Thanksgiving, amen. Our aluminum pop tabs, <clears throat> we're still collecting them and the postage stamps. You can either drop them off or put them in the mail to 222 North 6th Street here in Quincy. Coming up on A Woman's Joy this next week, uh, my dear friend and sister in Christ, Sherry McDaniel, uh, who's with the Sisters Women's Fellowship at the First Baptist Church in uh, Canton, Missouri. Her and I are continuing our discussion of the biblical meaning of love. You can watch that on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. or Friday at 9 p.m. Coming up next week on Outreach Connection, which is hosted by Gary Schlockavere, is Curtis Seifholler, Seth Haller. And he is with Young Life right here in Quincy. And that program will air on Monday the 14th at 9.30 a.m., Wednesday the 16th at 9 p.m., and Saturday the 19th at 7 p.m. Coming up on Pastor Speaks is Pastor Greg Wilhelm, and he brought a message, Our Faithful God. And Greg is pastor of Calvary Tabernacle Church here in Quincy. And this will air on Sunday the 13th at 2 p.m., Tuesday the 15th at 1.30 p.m., and Wednesday the 16th at 7.30 p.m. Coming up on the family movie night, The Manger to the Cross. This is a silent movie. And we have aired this before, but many people really enjoyed that. And we're getting ready to go into the Thanksgiving Christmas season, yes. And so we're starting with The Manger to the Cross. This will air on Saturday the 19th at 8 p.m. and Sunday the 20th at 11.30 p.m. And um, we have a promo of that movie right now. We're going to show you, but I think you would really enjoy it. The Manger to the Cross. Like I said, that is the Manger to the Cross that will air on Saturday the 19th at 8 p.m., Sunday the 20th at 11.30 p.m. right here on WTJR. When you watch that silent movie, you can just see how TV has grown, <laughs> I should say, because now what we have colored pictures, um, the speaking, I mean, the production, the staging, it's just all. But you know, I still enjoy watching those old movies, even in black and white sometimes. How about you? Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get ready and we're going to go to our bridge today. Now, we are taping this program on Thursday, 
the 10th. Tomorrow is Veterans Day. And we have this special spot that CTM produced that we want to air for you this time in honor of all of our veterans. It's appropriate that Veterans Day this year follows soon after a unique and spirited election cycle. It brings into sharp focus the sacrifices made by so many to preserve the process that we've just completed. Join us at the Christian Television Network as we salute all veterans and thank them for their contributions in defending the American way of life. And yes, on behalf of CTN and WTJR, we say thank you to all of our area veterans. Thank you to all of our area veterans. I have to stop a minute because I have a son in the Army. <laughs> our, our engineer has a son in the Air Force. And so these days even mean more to us because it brings it home. And I know many of you out there are the same way. And we say thank you, not only to the veterans, but to their families and the big sacrifices they have made that we could live in this country of freedom. Amen and amen. Well, we're going to move on today, and I'm going to stay here in the production room. Yes, I'm in the production room right here at WTJR because we uh, usually take the third camera back into the studio, and I sit down and bring the Bible to you. Well, today we're going to stay right in here, so I'm going to get the Bible out. And we are thanking God today for prayer and the hope that we have. CTN is hope. And you say, how is that? Because we broadcast the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. Jesus came, and through him we have hope of eternal life in heaven. We have hope of our sins being washed away, the hope of being reconciled back to our Heavenly Father. And that was all through Jesus Christ. Amen. Today our scripture comes from 1 Thessalonians 1, 9 through 10. 1 Thessalonians 9, I'm sorry, 1 Thessalonians 1, 9 through 10. That's important that I put that in there, isn't it? Amen. Now this is kind of paraphrasing these two verses together, but it says, You turned from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven. First Thessalonians 1, 9 through 10, and that's from the New King James. And there were three words, and I am using today a um, teaching, or a message, I should say, that our sister station, KFXB, and I say sister station because they're in Dubuque, Iowa, and they are an affiliate of CTN, just like us. And they, on their Facebook page, had this message. They have a word for you today, each day. And I thought, this, this just really touched me. And I thought, I want to share it with the viewers out there today. So it, they highlighted three words, turning, serving, and waiting. Turning, serving, and waiting. Let's read what Paul wrote to the Thessalonian believers. You became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction, with joy of the Holy Spirit, so that you became examples to all in Macedonia and Arcadia who believe. From you the word of the Lord has sounded forth in every place. Your faith towards God has gone out, so that we do not need to say anything. For they themselves declare how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven. And that's 1 Thessalonians 1, 6 through 10. And they kind of paraphrase that. But I want to go here and see and read it to you out of the King James. And you became followers of us and of the Lord. Now we know Paul wrote 1 Thessalonians 
And you became followers of us and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Spirit so that you were examples to all that believe in Macedonia and Arcadia. For from you sounded out the word of the Lord, not only in Macedonia and Arcadia, but also in every place your faith to Godward is spread abroad, so that we need not to speak anything. For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you, and how ye turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. Jesus, the finished work at Calvary, delivers us from God's wrath. Praise God for that. Amen and amen. So the lives of these believers could be summed up in these three words, turning serving, and waiting. Let's look at each and see what we can learn. Number one, turning. Repentance means doing an about-face turn. It calls for renouncing and forsaking your carnal thought patterns and self-indulgent ways. I want to read Luke 5, 32 right now. Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And also in Romans 12, verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Turning. You know, it talks about that Second Chronicles 7.14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. So turning, repentance, is very, very important. Serving. Try serving others rather than expecting them to serve you. At the end of each day, pray. Lord, how well did I serve you today? For it's in serving others that you serve him. For it is in serving others that you serve him. Amen. In Philippians 2, 5 through 8, we read, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being fashioned, found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. So it might be good <laughs> if we say, Lord, how well did I serve you today? Because when we've got our mindset to serve God, then we're going to serve others. We're going to do kind things. We're going to help them. We're going to encourage them. We're going to pray for them. You know? And I'll tell you what. I love to help other people. Serve. Serve. See them grow in the Lord. Jesus went about preaching the kingdom of God. What drew people to him? His compassion his love. Jesus also said they will know that you are my disciples by your love. So when we're serving one another, then the love of God flows through us, doesn't it? Amen. And the last word is waiting. If you knew for sure Jesus was coming back tomorrow, what would you do differently today? I'm going to read that question again. If you knew for sure Jesus was coming back tomorrow, what would you do differently today? Would it change your habits, your words, your attitudes? That's something to think about, isn't it? Some of us live our lives as if Christ had changed his mind about coming back again. Make no mistake, he is. Don't be caught off guard. 
Endeavor to live each day in the light of his soon return. Doing that will rearrange your priorities. Back to um, the serving word. I left a scripture out that I wanted to share. Matthew 25, 21. And this is something we long all of us to hear that is serving Christ. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou unto the joy of the Lord. You have been good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Wow. The rewards for serving God and serving others are out of this world, aren't they? Amen and amen. And I want to close with this scripture from Titus 2, 13. And Jim, how am I doing on my time? Because I don't have a clock here to see where my time is. A uh, minute 30. Okay. Um, Titus 2, 13 says, Looking. Are you looking for that? <laughs> are you looking for that blessed hope? The glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. While we're waiting... We are to be what? Looking. Waiting doesn't mean we just sit and do nothing. <laughs> While we're waiting, we still spend time in prayer. We still read the Word of God. We still attend church and fellowship with other believers. We go about our work day. Yes, we tell people about Jesus. While we're waiting. But we want to keep looking. We want to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus Christ. We want to keep them fixed on heaven, going home one day to spend eternity with God. The Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Spend eternity in heaven, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I was blessed by this, turning, serving, and waiting. Turning, serving, and waiting. God has been so long-suffering with us. I thank Him for His mercy. I thank Him for His love. I thank Him for His forgiveness through the blood that Jesus Christ shed at Calvary, that my sins could be washed away. I'm thankful to be reconciled back to Him through the finished work at Calvary. Be excited about the Lord. Tell someone about Jesus today. WTJR, licensed to Quincy, Illinois, maintains a public file for public inspection at our studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. Hours of our studio location, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9 a.m. to noon on Friday. Hi, I'm Pastor Jerry Jenkins, and I'd like to tell you about a...